In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're continuing in volume 18, November 12th, 1925. My daughter, Louisa, be attentive in doing your acts in my divine will. So this is what Jesus is also asking of us. Not only your prevenient act in the morning, but your actual acts throughout the day. Be attentive to calling on the divine will. A lot of people say, well, do I have to call on the divine will continuously? And Jesus says to Louisa, be attentive. Know what you're doing. Calling on the divine will is essential. Come divine will, breathe in my breathing. Come divine will, you know, beat in my heart beating. You're always asking God uh, to do this. Why? It, we're doing it in the name of everyone and everything, past, present, and future, so that the kingdom can be established on earth as it is in heaven. So he says, you must know that whoever is called the, as head of a mission for whatever good pertaining to that mission is enclosed in that, in that person. So here, Jesus is now talking about Louisa as the head of the mission of the divine will. And he says, uh, uh, as head of the mission, whatever good pertains to that mission is found in you, Louisa. And it brings so much more good to communicate to all the others who will participate in this mission. So right now, this is what God is calling us to do as well. Participate, participate in the, this mission of Louisa uh to to what so as jesus says be attentive calling the divine will on earth as it is in heaven with every thought every word every deed in the name of everyone and everything so jesus says to louisa when you when you call upon the divine will uh you're bringing all of humanity with you all the past present and future so it's jesus says he hears all of humanity a praying, come divine will, may your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, uh, with our voice. And, and that's that's part of the mission that Jesus is asking, that we pray with everyone and everything so that the kingdom can uh, be on earth as it is in heaven. So this is, is, as Jesus says, what's found in you, Louisa, the more good that's found in you, Louisa, you can communicate it to the others who will also have this mission with you. So he says, these goods will be as so many seeds that you, Louisa, will lend to others. So here, this harvest is coming, you know, this, this mission of, of the, you know, casting the seeds, uh, like Jesus says, uh, on, on good soil, so that it produces a hundredfold. This is what God is looking for. And so what, what we find in Louisa can be given to all of humanity. This is what Jesus is showing. He says, uh, these will be as so many seeds that you, Louisa, will lend to others so that those who have the good fortune of wanting to acquire these seeds will render them possessors of the harvest of these same seeds. So as, as you know, naturally, as the farmer uh, gives this uh, life, this the seed, uh, and the crops are, are, are beginning to be uh, grown. He's, Jesus says, we will see the harvest of what you think, what you say, what you do in the divine will. Uh, God always speaks about the natural. Uh, and naturally, this is going to happen. But it has to start with, with the sower, if you want to say. And so Jesus and Mary, the new Adam and the new Eve, this is the life that's coming to the earth. And the one who possesses this life is Louisa. So this, this breath, this ruah of God, this breath of God that's breathed into Louisa produces this life, this, this seed that will, uh, she now, it's her mission to give this to us. God breathed this ruah of God, this breath of God into Adam. And Adam was to give it to all his children. But because of Adam's fall, that didn't happen. So now Jesus says after 6,000 years, uh, 2,000 years ago, 
uh, Jesus and Mary come to earth with this universal life that Adam lost, this Catholic life, to breathe this into humanity again. And for the last 2,000 years, we've learned from the saints how to do the will of God. But now because of what Jesus has, and Mary have given to Louisa is how to live in the will of God. So he says, they will have the good fortune of wanting to acquire these seeds. At, at, why? And they will render themselves possessor, possessors of the harvest of those same seeds. So great things are going to happen. She says, Jesus says, this is what happened with Adam, who being the first man was constituted head of all human generations. And by necessity, being the head, Adam had to possess the seeds necessary for the development of human life in order to be able to give it to his children, to the others. These seeds then have been increased, explained, uh, better understood, uh, better understood according to the goodwill of the following generations and according to the capacity and the application that each generation has made of those same seeds. Okay, so for example, you know, over the course of the year, you had the, the good people of the Old Testament, the, the, the heroic saints of the Old Testament, and then the heroic saints of the New Testament. So he says it's increased, these seeds increased uh, uh, with their understanding of, of what God is calling them to according to their goodwill. So it's peace on earth to men of goodwill, of God's will. And now, in these final days, as, as uh, St. Uh, Paul says, we are in these final days. Now, he says, um, this, this, all the human generations, the goodwill of all the human generations, um, now can apply this, this knowledge, these truths, uh, especially found in the book of heaven. Of that, that same life, the seed that was given to Adam, now because of Jesus and Mary, the new Adam and the new Eve, it's more abundant. It's what the priest says at daily mass, putting the drop of water into the chalice, may we share in the divinity of Christ. This is what's coming. But Adam uh, had all of them, all of these truths, these knowledges within himself. And it can be said that they all came through Adam. And thus it can be said, Jesus says, that it that being in being created by God, Adam was gifted with all the sciences. So he didn't have to go to school. He knew everything. He was, it was infused in him, uh, the knowledge of all the sciences. Today, because of our fallen nature, you know, someone, let's say a doctor has a specialty. Okay, this is what I specialize in. They, they're, they're really good at one, maybe two things. Uh, but Adam had it all. Adam was in God's image and likeness. And, and uh, because of the fall, uh, humanity now has to study, has to str strive to uh, reach an understanding. It can be uh, like a specialty. He says, what the others have learned with so much labor, Adam possessed as gift in a surprising manner. He knew everything. He knew you know, what the seeds were all about, what the plants were all about, what the animals were all about. Therefore, he possessed the knowledge of all things of the earth. Adam had the science of all the plants. He had the science of all the herbs. He had the powers that he, he knew of the powers that each uh, thing contained. And Adam had the science of all the species of animals and how Adam should make use of them. He had the science of music, the science of song, the science of writing, the science of medicine. In some, he had the science of everything. That's Adam. When we think of Adam, uh, we think of a human. We don't understand the, the, the magnificence that God breathed into Adam. What came out of the dust was the image and likeness of God. That was Adam. Image and likeness of God. And Jesus says, uh, now, because of redemption, we can, now when sanctification comes, we are also going to enter into, again, the image and likeness of God. With this, this body that we have, Jesus says, we will see in the new era, um, this, this is living dead. 
compared to the abundant life that God's going to breathe into humanity again. That's what he keeps on saying to Louisa. He's going to overwhelm the earth with his love. He's going to overwhelm the world uh, with the fire of the sacred heart of Jesus, the immaculate heart of Mary. The world is going to be judged by fire, consumed in fire. That's the love of God. We are going to be overwhelmed of, of how much our God loves us. So Jesus says this. If each generation possessed its own science, okay, which we've seen over the years. I mean, let's just think of the last hundred years. A little over a hundred years ago, we began to fly. And now we have a spacecraft. Uh, in, within a hundred years, if, if each generation possessed its own special science, Adam possessed all the sciences. So what's going to come upon the earth is a new beginning for all of humanity. Uh, the way uh, Jesus says, I have given the sacraments as a medicine, a spiritual medicine, to help us get closer to what God wants of us. And those who embrace the sacraments and the sacramentals have a, have a greater chance of getting closer to God. Um, those that don't have it, they, they don't have that fullness of faith. They don't have that great uh, blessing that God is bestowed upon Christ. Christ is bestowed upon his church. So see, Jesus says, so see therefore how necessary it is that one who must be the head, that's Louisa, Louisa, should enclose him in himself all the goods uh, in which all the others must part participate in. So this, this great blessing that God is giving to us in, with Louisa, as you study the writings, uh, you're, you, God is going to expand your capacity of understanding this, this gift of gifts, this prodigy of prodigies that was given to Louisa. As we enter into this abundant life, it's a new beginning that's happening for us. Uh, your, your spirituality of everything that the saints have taught us, everything that we've learned over the years of, of what the saints have shown us is going to be magnified through this gift of the divine will. Uh, our life uh, is going to be uh, uh, more of the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary that was given to Louisa. So great things are in store and our God is asking us. This is why he said right from the beginning, he says, basically, uh, be attentive in doing your acts in my divine will. The more attentive we are, the, the more we're, we're focused on what God has asked Louisa. And we, we put into practice, you know, studying the, the writings of Louisa. Uh, what happens at that point, he says, uh, uh, we're going to participate more in what Adam had uh, before the fall. So great things are in store. God, God loves us and he's got great plans. So may the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will always. We ask this in Jesus' name, under the mantle of Mary, through the intercession of Louisa, and we pray that this prayer becomes God's command, that all the little children of the holy divine will become divinely healed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.